Message. Uh, one L L five five inches. Excuse me. You got fifty five inch wheels. Them pretty big tires for a car. Ideal for an anomaly petting zoo. Huh? Oh. Actually, that would be kind of weird and interesting at the same time to have an anomaly petting zoo. But then what if the anomaly just teleports the pets out of the zoo? What if it teleports the zoo entirely? What if it brings in something that's not supposed to be part of the zoo? Like a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Anyways. Highlighting how many of them are docile and even helpful. Call it friends with benefits. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no way. Uh, mm. Yeah, you don't want to use that phrase. Mm. That's, uh... That's definitely taken and not something you want to associate your uh, business with when it comes to a petting zoo. I don't know what kind of pets you're talking about. Anyways, uh, greetings and welcome to Pacific Drive. There are a couple things that I want to, uh, to buy in the, uh, the blueprint catalog. We need more marsh eggs. But marsh eggs won't be too much of a problem since they come in abundance. I just need to go to the marsh and find them. Also, I'm going to uh, state right now, um, my apologies for if you can possibly hear my whirling fan in the background. Because uh, we're finally getting into the, uh, the hot days of the season. And unfortunately, that means I need something on me to cool me down. While I'm doing this because, uh, yeah, it's my, uh, my air conditioning unit is not exactly 100% viable. It's there. It's just not viable. Hard soccer. So what did I want to get? We don't need the carbon fiberglass. We need, we don't need a magnetic hammer. We don't really need the liberator. I kind of want the blowtorch. That costs 0.8. But there is something else that I wanted. Yeah, we have insulated headlights that I believe I unlocked in the last session. If not, I unlocked them. Uh, crude flashlight. We can probably come for that later. I actually did go ahead and get all of the armor parts off screen. Just so that way, uh, if I absolutely need to replace them, I can. I want the tires, the seat racks, no. Oh, what was the thing that I wanted? Increase your carrying capacity by simply securing a patiently illegal amount of objects on the roof of your vehicle. Hmm. Okay. Patently illegal amount, that's weird. But, I mean, it is a roof storage, which would be nice to have. Oh. Uh. Side fuel, no. So, we can't really do the battery. A capacity battery, maybe? I want to require a circuit board. We can try to do that. We can basically just skip the, uh, the side battery and the lead acid battery. And just go for the high capacity immediately. Because I believe I have the items necessary to make that. I don't know why they would give you these lead oriented battery pieces and not have a suitable place to farm them. Because I did go to the, uh, what are they called? It was like a special forest. That's the jump button. They're up here. The blistering woods. Yeah, I went to these locations. There's one over here. Yeah, this one. 
even this one that are supposed to give me these like lead uh platelets whatever they are and they just didn't no idea where they are or how to find them so i'm just gonna get the high capacity battery thanks i guess So we have that unlocked. Oh, can I make it again? <laughs> because I haven't like read the blueprint. I don't want to do that. Jump jacks, um, resource radar. I kind of would like to make that. Detect nearby resources and raw materials. Oh, uh, it's an ability. Mm. I don't really want to use an ability though. We could be lazy and get the auto parker. I mean. There's basically no reason not to at this point. All right, well, let's make the blueprint for it. Oh, thank you. I will read that now because you were so generous to put it on the table this time. Knowledge. Rather than throw it on the floor like an ignoramus. I don't know what the jumping jacks would be useful for, but I need to make those in order to make the ion shield, which I guess would be nice. But I think more importantly, I can make an amp. Uh, no, I can't. More importantly, I think what we need to do, knowledge is uh make that other engine i kind of want to try out the gas guzzler engine here we go the uh, the turbo light has more health takes up more fuel has a lot more power and we have the thermosap crystals to make it because not, uh, not too long ago we were able to get a bunch of those things they're just sitting in, like, gigantic compact crystal things just sitting around in the, uh, in the mid-zone. Like, that's insanely easy. I don't see why they don't have those, like, earlier in the game. But whatever. Like, they could, they didn't have to, like, put a bunch of them around. Maybe, like, one or two in each zone. And I'd still have to find it. So, craft this engine. Yeah, I'm just going to carry this 600-pound hunk of metal over here and drop it. That looks pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, we decked out the car in full armor this time. All right. So, we're going to take out the engine. Ooh. Oh, that thing looks terrible. It kind of reminds me of... Car mechanic simulator. And uh, it definitely needs to be repaired, if not replaced. Alright. Hang on, I just want to see the, uh, the empty engine bay here. Oh. Fascinating. Alright, anyways. A blam. So yeah, it's definitely going to uh, take up more gas, unfortunately. Uh, how am I going? Where am I going to put this? What locker can even accept an entire freaking engine? Definitely none of those. I have no idea how big this engine is. So, we're going to move that down. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. It's huge. I mean, has to be expected, I guess, of an engine. What? Dang. 
Uh, I will take those. I need the flares anyways. Dump as much as we can in there, okay. Dump as much as we can in there, perfect. Alright, we're good. I was sure there was something else I wanted to grab. Construction restabilizer, no. Advanced antenna, rapid fill, nope, none of those. We can make another locker. You know what? We kind of need it. Oh. It's gonna be outside. That's not exactly, uh, convenient. All right, but I mean, space is space. Dumpster doesn't want to give me anything, okay. So what'll come next after the lockers? The pneumatic locker? Upgrade one of your lockers to make it, make use of an extraordinary amount of underground storage space. I don't know about that. We do need that one thing that has to do with repairing my car parts. I uh, have no idea where it is. Uh, I have a lot of unstable energy to use. Uh, okay, here we go. Expanded matter regenerator. So we need four more shakes. I'm an idiot. One thing that I was talking about. Thermal vac. Yeah, we might as well get the knowledge for that. I mean, you tried to put it on the table. It was just unfortunate that it didn't work. The canister is R2 slippery. All right, so we'll get the blowtorch. Thank you. Knowledge. Let's see about making the blowtorch. Let's see what it takes to uh to actually use it. Make a crude flashlight. Might as well. Knowledge. So, I guess might as well see about making this. Now I got extra large roof storage. Side fuel tank. Fuel tank isn't really necessary. Ah! But we will make that extra wind turbine because... Oh, it's raining. Close the door. Okay, I do have the space. But yeah, I want to try and make the extra wind turbine. So crude flashlight. Okay, I can make a bunch of those. Blowtorch. Oh my gosh, it requires 80 marsh eggs to make the blowtorch. Well, that's going to have to wait, because I still want to make the other things. Yeah, I can just make the high-capacity battery right here and now, which is super easy. There we go. I have more battery. As far as I understand, it can go right here. Yes! Fantastic! All right. So now we have some extra electricity. But I want to make that wind turbine. Uh, storage. 
Oh, excuse me. Ow! That's pretty tall. Okay, it's not as tall as I expected it to be. But you know what? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of storage. Okay, I don't think we need storage anymore. We got plenty of room for everything. Fabulous. The auto parker. I need two gears to make that. I don't think I have another seat, though, for that. No, I don't. I need a seat for this. So... Do I have the ability to make another... Excuse me. I need steel sheets to make one more... seat. And... Oh, I can easily make that. Done. Thank you. Now we can put the auto parker in. Fabulous. My girl's getting decked out with everything. She's gonna have all the abilities. All the power. Uh, I don't have to interact with that, do I? I don't think so. Although I would like to see how it works. Oh! That's how it works. Instantaneously. I love it. Uh... And then if I just... Nice. That is super lazy. But if we're in a hurry to leave and or to, to stop the car to go grab something, it'll uh, be useful then. I think we can still kind of manually use the, uh, the shifter. Like, if I, if I just want to stop somewhere and not move at all, or if I don't want the abductors to yank me around, because putting the car in park when the abductors grab us does kind of help. Uh, where does that go? Knock a roof rack? Oh, we can put that on the roof. Hmm. Rather than having the storage. Okay. Alright. I'll think about it. Oh yeah, we need to make that turbine. Let's see, where is it? Not there, not there. There it is. Mini turbine. Thank you. Because having two of these will be excellent. Because they just spin indefinitely when I'm driving. So they'll supercharge my cart. Wait a minute. Look at the battery power on that. My gosh. I needed that high capacity power, battery power. My... That was amazing. That is the best upgrade ever. All right. Charge. Just to be absolutely sure that we're fully set and ready to go on that. So we need to basically travel to the marsh to work on getting those marsh eggs. Uh, might as well grab this. Just parts that need to be repaired. Car is looking good. Bumper's new. Alright, so our main focus for this session. They want us to go to the Red Meadow Research Facility. That 
is an unknown location. We don't even have the ability to get to it unless we go to the blistering woods over here. Which we do need to scope around to find that lead stuff. Because I will need it regardless of me uh, choosing to not use the basic batteries. I still need it for my, uh, my suit. Because I need to be able to have lead lined uh suit boots and gloves so that way i don't take radiation damage so there's this area i'll scan that scan this the warrens what's the warrens Overcharged electricity. Uh, does that mean if I get zapped, it's going to be super overcharged? Okay, the warrens are not recognized. Okay, so none of those are recognized. Uh, violent voltage. Oh, apparently I've seen that one before. The electricity discharge detected in this part of the zone are at a much higher voltage, which means they will arc past car defenses. Oh, so if I get a... You know, if I'm driving and a bolt of lightning hits me, I'm going to get shocked. That's not cool. Underground mischief? That's the rocks being a little bit... Yeah. It's always the rocks. You always got to be a problem. It's a damp forest. And then the Myers. Uh, I guess we don't really need to scan anything else. Those are the only two places that I want to go. One of which is uh, actually connected to the main zone. I guess we're going to scan this just to see what's going on. I don't think it really did anything. So, malfunctioning mess. High levels of magnetic interference. Okay. Combined with broad spectrum atri yeah. atmospheric. It's going to say atmospheric. Like an idiot. Anomalies. Meaning that things are constantly going haywire in this part of the zone. Okay, so basically all my electronics are bad. Curious fragility. Huh. I don't know what that means, but I don't like the symbol that they're showing. And then Swift Storm, yeah, I kind of knew that one. Alright, so it looks like we're basically going to be cutting... I'm probably going to cut through E6, because I don't want to deal with the, uh, the extreme conditions anomaly. We can just go through Junction E6 and then up to Junction E2. Hopefully we can find more of that lead stuff. We definitely got the space for it. Man, this thing is... Looking like an actual, like, military vehicle, almost. Like, this is not designed for normal roads anymore. It's all just, uh... Pure protection, basically. Nothing else. Alright. Well, I'm an idiot. I just put it in park. Woo! Oh! That extra boost that the engine gave off. We gained more horsepower and more torque. Oh, I love it. Oh, we hit 65 miles an hour. Easy. The new engine is amazing. Okay, so... Heavy fog. My headlights don't really help me, all things considered, but... Okay. Oh, 
Uh, we don't really need the stable energy. I know there's something that we can build to kind of uh, trade it off or something. But I haven't really built that yet. I guess we'll just kind of hit up some of these places and then head out. Not really sure what there is to really gain in this location. But if I find anything suspicious, I'm going to have to scan it. No, that's definitely not what I was expecting to find. No. Oh. I do have my hammer, right? Did I? Okay. I didn't leave without it. Because if I did, we would have problems. That. That's my saw. Hey. Stop it. Why is there radiation here? You bother me. Whoop. Gotcha. Ah, nice try, Doom. Yeah, I really need that radiation protection garb because that's uh, super annoying. Uh, it's electrical discharge. I have to really be careful with my acceleration now. Woo! <laughs> okay, so so this is more or less a dead stop. Oh, hi, Rock. Can you not? I'm trying to test something. I'm trying to show my viewers what uh, what I'm experiencing. So it's basically dead stop. And charge. Wow, instantaneous. Up to speed. Oh my gosh. This new engine is crazy. But it is going to eat through my gas a lot quicker. Although I guess that kind of is okay since uh, lately I've been having an abundance of an amount of fuel. Just sitting in my car doing nothing. I kind of need to use it. What do we got here? There we go. Ah, I can just leave and not have to worry about my car rolling. The cheese is on a whole other level with that ability. And surprisingly, it doesn't take up an ability slot, so it's just there indefinitely. It does take up a seat, which, uh, isn't exactly ideal. What? Oh. But I mean, for the most part, ooh. I can see the engine underneath the, uh, the wheel well. Very nice. So, let's see. Transfer. There we go. Gonna go back inside for the electronic components. But, I mean, there's not really much when it comes to equipment that I can put in the seat other than storage, fuel, and the battery. And the battery is, like, basically a must-have at this point because 
I went from having like 55 or 45 points of battery, whatever that amount was, to like more than doubled that. So, that amount of power is fantastic. I basically can have my headlights on indefinitely. Jeez, frickin' thing is so fast! Woo! Whoa! That's a truck. Ah, but here's the thing. I actually need the truck now. What? Oh, the construction crew is out. So, it only has a little bit of fuel. So I can yoink this. Oh, it actually has more fuel than I expected. Wow. I was basically able to refill my spare tank. Without having to worry too much about, uh... Basically having a gap. Basically having wasted fuel. Ow. Well, I just did damage to my front end doing that. How much? Uh, like five percentage. Not really anything here other than a TV backpack. That didn't give me anything. I'm getting absolute junk here. What? Something suspicious going on around there. Oh, that's the, uh... The thing. The energy anchor. Which I don't really need. In fact, actually, I'm not gonna grab it at the moment. Mostly because it's also, uh, not that big of an anchor. Like, that tiny dot is probably, like, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 worth of energy. Not really something that I need. So there's another thing around here somewhere. It's kind of off to the side here. I think I see it. Or is this it? I'm looking for... Maybe it's that. It's looking for an extra building somewhere. Okay. Mailman number six. I gotta read that. I did it! I crawled inside. I've seen where they lead. Where they go. It makes so much sense now. Yeah. He found the Illuminati. I'm surprised he even had the ability to write down a message. Considering that, uh... They would have absolutely gutted him. For doing that. Found it between junction 5A and 6C. 
Sometimes you pass right through like normal. Other times you come back where you started. But in the opposite direction. Weird. I mean, you never turn around. And there are no loops that could have led you there. And when that happens, sometimes you get a glimpse. A red light in the distance. It's waiting, looking for something it lost a long time ago. Reaching out. I'm certain that's the answer to it all. I'm staying in here till I find out what it is. Uh, not really a good idea there, buddy, but okay. Oh, I need a impact hammer. Holy frick, those lights are bright. Um, are my headlights supposed to be that bright? I don't remember them being that bright. Yeah, I added new headlights, but I don't think they're actually supposed to be that bright. They didn't state that they would be. Ah, sorry. So we need the impact hammer. We're also gonna go ahead and put everything away. Break that. What? I don't know how I dropped my hammer, but okay. Electronic components. I'm at 39% health. Kinda not a good thing. Seriously, there was nothing in there? Oh, there goes my flashlight. Put this away. Use the scrapper for those two electrical component things. That's a stuff. That's not what I wanted. It's trying to move it. There we go. I am practically dead here. Because of the radiation. Which... I have to again reiterate. Would uh, not be a problem if I just had a suit. There we go. those up. Although I do have a, a charger, like a health charger in here. I kind of forgot about that. All right, well, I'm going to go to here. And then after that, we'll make our way to the gate. Because uh, I don't want to be here anymore. This place sucks. Whoop! I hit something. That also somehow turned on my radio. Oh, hi, tree. I didn't see you there. What the frick? A whole lot of ridiculous happening. Uh, oh, that's an underground passage. What if I still tried to follow it? I mean, obviously, I would eventually hit 
Ooh. What? Oh. The storm has approached. I guess that means we're leaving now. I can't see where the road is. Found the road. Ah, oh, dang it. I wanted to go check out that other area. Although that does confirm a theory that I had a while back. That the, uh, the storm won't approach if I just don't take the anchors. That is now, uh, Miss Busted. They, in fact, truck. Box truck? Log. Nice. But, uh, they will definitely send the storm after me. What's that? Crude headlight? I don't need it. I mean, I guess I could take it for resources. Add some paint. Batu. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to put those in there. The frick? Giving back my liberator and my hand back. Also, I need to, uh, make the flashlight. Oh, I need the level two to make that. Dang it. So I have to make that at the shop. Well, unfortunately, that means we're just going to make the relightable flare. Because we need something to be able to see. How far is the, uh, the storm? Uh, pretty far. So we can check in with that one building that's down the road. Hello, construction worker. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. That didn't look right. Hmm. Guess it's gone now. That looks like a different anomaly than what I've normally seen. Oh well, there's a building somewhere around here. That requires an impact hammer. I really feel like those lights are a lot brighter than they should be. It could be the fog. But it just, uh, seems weird. Knock, knock. What do you got for me? Looks like it's pretty much nothing. Oh! Never mind, you got a lot of stuff. Well, the fridge had a lot of stuff. TV. Okay. You're hiding a trash can behind your chair? I would think that wouldn't be a good spot to put your trash can, all things considered. You'd basically just be smelling your own garbage 24-7. Well, until you took it out to the dump, but... You know. 
That, uh... It's probably a rare occurrence considering how big that trash can was. You can go break your TV because, uh, you don't need it anymore. Give me that, thank you. Alright. Put that away. Put all those away. And we're good. Hey, wait a minute. My aching soul is terrible. My aching soul. My aching soul. I thought something was a little suspicious with my radio. But now it's fine. Junction E2. Extreme conditions, the Warrens, and overcharged electricity. Uh, uh, I don't know if it'll show it up here. Corposa, violent, blah, 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 heavy fog. Corrosive waterways. There's the overcharge, which, due to the increased ambient LIM field energy, all electrical damage taken in this part of the zone is increased. Okay, so it's just increased shock damage. That's not too bad. Here we go, the warrants. Bunny anomalies run a rampant in this area. Oh! Oh, we're going to be facing off against the bunnies now, huh? That's interesting. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Kind of running out of fuel. That's fine. So we just need to be careful of the bad bunnies. If they give us the good bunnies, then obviously we'll, we'll let them take a ride. That's uh, magnetic interference. Gonna try and go around it. Cause I'm sure if I, ow. I'm sure if I start honking, the bunnies will just start running to my location. Cause they're attracted to the, uh, the sounds my car makes. So far, we're not finding anything around here. Well, that doesn't look good. So there's a uh, bit of a disturbance in front of us. Oh no, do we have tourists? Do we have electrified tourists in this location? I would rather there not be. Okay, I found one of the buildings. the electrified tourists get gone
It is hard to run in this location for some odd reason. Okay, there's an anchor. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take that in order to get out of here. Because eventually at some point, the storm will kick in. On top of the fact that I need the ability to teleport and taking the anchor will help me. There we go. Ah, no, rock, you prick! Rock tried to tip over my car. Okay, we need to grab the other anchor in order to open up a gateway. The rain has stopped. Is there any gas in this thing? Nope. Uh, I don't know where... Oh, it's a little bit farther down. I was gonna say, I don't know where this other building is, because I can't see it. But it should be right over here. I was correct. You, Taurus. All right, that gets rid of the tourists. A lot of electrical components. That's good. Chemicals. I would like more of those, please. A mirror to realize that I'm a vampire. Okay, we're gonna grab the saw. That's not the saw. The saw is over this way. I kind of would like the saw to not be over there. Because I have another theory. And that is, if I have... The saw at a specific angle. That it will not return to... Hex one? Oh, that's the flare. That it will not return to the storage container in that angle. I was going to say, I might have lost that piece. I got it, though. Oh, it didn't return, so... Okay. The game is just being infuriating for the sake of being infuriating. So if we just head down there, we'll be fine. I need to get onto the road, though. Ooh. Oh, we're running out of fuel. No! I gotta fuel up. Also, it's raining. I forgot to turn my headlights on. Or, uh... Not my headlights, my winter wipers. There's that difference. Give me. Yeah, fill it. Hello. This is Zap, and it's time for a special version of Zap's Douglas Spurrier Knowledge Tree Facts. Uh, hi, Zap. This specific segment is here purely to address a series of written correspondences I've had with a certain Dr. Cocker, and 
I use the term doctor with the greatest of air quotes. Dr. Cocker, to you and all who have somehow been unfortunate enough to hear your lectures on biology, I must set the record straight. What is and is not a plant it is strictly determined by scientific process, photosynthesis, reproductive systems, and the categorization of cellular makeup. It is not determined by whether or not the thing has eyeballs. What a truly preposterous suggestion. Just because a bird has eyes does not make it... Your infantile claims are doing nothing more than the further strength of credibility of this peninsula. And to everyone else, stay safe, keep your eyes on the trail, and leave the forest as you found it. Okay. Also, there's a big hurricane coming in. That's like category seven. It's massive. Unless that's my uh okay no that was just my map being zoomed in yeah, it's still pretty big though almost a category six that's super devastating oh we don't need our winter weapons anymore uh my front right tire or not left uh my front left tire got popped i don't know how that happened can I just seal that? Can I just make a sealing kit for that? Right now? Yes, I can. Easily. I'd rather not have to fix that. Thank you. Or I didn't want to have to replace it either. Not really in a dire situation. But apparently I ran over something to pop my tire. Not exactly ideal. I mean, that could be a thing that the off-road tires have, which I think would actually be a little weird, all things considered, because real off-road tires are harder to puncture unless you uh, abuse them heavily trying to get over certain rocks or to go over a certain terrain but uh oh hi how you doing can't remember if you're one of the good bunnies um that's a no you're not one of the good bunnies okay blue ones are not good Oh, that's the, uh, the magnetic interference that I don't want to deal with. So I want to go around that. There's the other anchor that I'm looking for. Nothing over there. Special stuff over here, but we got course being annoying oh you even have a squire car get out of here all right well that worked now we're gonna back into this I feel like there's a quirk going on. Ah, I, I, I've identified it. I know what it is. Yes. There... Okay, so there is a quirk going on in the car. And I know exactly what it is. It's, uh, anytime I reverse, the radio turns on and off. The radio toggles. Oh my gosh, there's only a tiny amount of gas in this. Well, surprisingly, that tiny amount of gas filled my car. 
Can I also build a can? I can. <laughs> I can can. Well, that wasn't too bad. But still, that's such a weird quirk. But I mean, I haven't had many of those in a while. So it's a... Uh, I didn't mean to open that, but okay. So it's nice to see that, uh... They're still active. And trying to piss me off. There's more tourists over there. I don't trust any of you, so, um... Get gone. I missed. There you go. Yeah, that, that way they won't bother me. More paint. Gray paint. Uh, dumpster, you got anything? Woo! A lot of stuff. Thank you. Got stuff in there. Ooh. Dumpster pearls. Ah, dang it. I can't do anything about it because... My inventory is full. Put all this in here. Grab those dumpster pearls. Anything else? That's a no. What? <laughs> Just start smacking in the wall with the, uh, the crowbar. Workbench? Uh, it's not a level 2 workbench, though, which means it's trash. Wait. Oh, no, it is. I'm just missing ingredients. That's okay, though. I'm gonna be heading back to the shop soon anyways, so... So, it's specifically going in reverse. And not attempting to, uh, do anything else. Ah, my side storage. But you know what? Let's utilize the roof rack. Because reasons. There you go. Put that away. Grab the scrapper. Definitely need all that stuff. Thank you for the rubber. Now, do I have the ability to make that special vac? No. I still need thermal sap crystal. Which, I mean, I have plenty of back at the base. Put all that away. Put that in there. And put the scrapper back in. Never in the same spot, unfortunately. I've been letting the car run this whole time. Oh my gosh. That fuel pump had so much more fuel for it. Gas stations are amazing. I feel like that was part of an update, though, because before, the gas stations were kind of trash. Or at least I didn't have the means to properly utilize them. Probably should have came here with, the uh, equipment. Ha!
break that open. Thank you for the chemicals. I wasn't really anything here to scrap anyways, so... All good. The only thing that I could have done was use the impact hammer on the, uh... That thing. But I don't really need it. Doink. Ah, it's mine! Finders keepers! Yeah, losers get exploded. Oh, wrong side of the car. Fabulous. Heal. So it looks like at this point, nothing else I can do. We could unlock that one or this one. Uh, I actually want to unlock this one that I'm at. But I want to get to... This house over here. That marker is probably not going to last, all things considered. So, you turn. Car kicks into gear so quick. I love it. It just is a little unfortunate that it's a gas guzzler now. But the other two engines aren't all that great either. The, uh, the second engine that I could potentially make is an electric engine. But, uh... Obviously, that's going to eat at my battery supply, and I'd rather not do that. Unless it's, like, really good at not destroying a charge. I don't know why I went specifically for the, uh, the marker, but okay. But if the... If the battery engine can hold a charge... Then that'll actually be kind of perfect. So... We're going to remark that to let me know that that's where I need to be in order to start the gateway. Is there an abductor around here? I'm hearing something weird. There shouldn't be abductors here, though. And even if there is, apparently there... It's weird that they would show up right at this moment. Nothing, nothing, TV. Oh. Time to leave. That's unfortunate. But I guess also kind of... Well, don't want to start it now. I want to get to the marked zone first. This thing is so much faster now. Alright. Now we will start it. Let's go! Ah, we're faster than the storm. Ah. Sorry, car. I didn't mean to hit that sign. Woo! 
No! <laughs> we flipped the car! Oh no! <laughs> uh. Emergency teleporter scanning for warp location. Okay. Well, <laughs> that happened. Woo! Let's get out of here. I did not think that was possible. I 100% believe that it was impossible to actually flip the car over. And even still, I figured it would roll back onto its feet. On back no, no. onto that its wheels eventually. Was Bigfoot. Never was, never will be. Don't let Tobias and Francis fill your head with that nonsense. Uh okay, car. Yeah, so every time I go into reverse, the radio turns on and off. I don't need to do that. I can just leave. Ha! First aid. Another squire car. I don't really need that, though. Chemicals. Thank you. Definitely needed that. And got nothing else. Okay. Uh, someone called me while I was out. Close the door. Uh, where's that box to transfer items? I have no idea where it is. But I know how to find it. There we go. Easy. Basketball. Huh. Oh. Okay. Transferring items. Uh, we might as well transfer the extra food and obviously all the paint. That is a lot of extra paint that I got out of nowhere. I don't know about the MRE. I guess we can leave that in the car. Since, uh, I ran out of medic bag. Oh, forgot that the car is on. Road headlight. Can I? Oh, I can't. Whoop. We can turn that off for now. It's all car parts. There I go. Uh, cans, put that in there. Flares, put that in there. Everything else goes in there. Fantastic. Put all the paint in there. Good, good. I don't know what that was, but... Ah! Cool dog! Ah, Batu. Okay. A uh, few traveling... I want to install that. We definitely have to have that. I can kind of see it. Very nice. So what's going on here? If you're looking for a sign to push on through the adversity, this is it. 
What? Okay. That... That was a terrible sign, but whatever. Right, let's throw the headlight in there to disassemble it. Thank you for the flares. Wrong container. Oh, that's not where I wanted to put the flares. There you go. Alright, so the thing that I was going to work on, or that I was going to buy... Yeah, so it, it wastes 44 MPK. Uh... I don't have enough unstable energy to make it. But we can try using it some other time. Leak resistant. What is leak resistant? Carefully engineered to prevent the buildup and discharge of liquids or gases. This power source also has the bonus of being waterproof. Also, I still haven't found the lead stuff. Where do I find it? How do I get it? Because it literally tells me in the logbook. Uh, dumpster. Where the heck? It... There it is. Yeah, found in blistering woods. It's heavy, it's too soft, and it's poisonous. Shield against radiation. Well, what does that mean? What do you mean? What does all this mean? Alright. How much of the car is damaged? Eh. Not much. Would still be nice to throw some of that into the, uh, the repair bay, though. Especially the front bumper. Take that. Take this. Bumper. Okay. And armor panel. Put the headlight in. with the bumper.
that should be good. Put the bumper in there. Uh, guess take the door out. I mean, obviously the door doesn't need to be in there anymore. The other door. Those are panels. Door, door. Okay, so all the doors are off the car. We can put the tires in here. I thought I had extra panels. I guess not. I mean, if anything, I don't really need to keep the extra doors. I probably should swap them all out for armored stuff. Put this extra door in here. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I didn't mean to put the headlight out. need to move the panels. So everything's good there. It's not really anything else that I can upgrade or that I need to upgrade. Investigator module. Report back to you with elements of a diagnosis that are correct. A new chip also adds the ability to spend anchor energy to scan the car for anomalies. Ah, interesting. So I need a circuit board. Circuit board costs uh, a little bit of electronics, not too bad. Let's make it. Investigator module. Thank you. Charge. Bro, that one charge wasn't enough? I have to double charge? I mean, the high-capacity battery is full, but the actual car battery itself isn't? Wow. I need a double charge. Anyways, so I can spend anchor points on this thing now, right? It takes stable energy. Ah, investigate. Three hints found. Fuel. Is full. What? When headlights I don't know What do you Something is wrong with my fuel That's the thing that scares me Switch on I have eight guesses to figure this out So Which is not right. Toggles. Seven guesses. Okay. Brightens. 
I don't understand. What do you mean? Fuel is full when headlight brightens. Light replacement kit? Huh? Wait, is it telling me that the car will tell me that the fuel is full even though it isn't? That's not possible, though. But also, apparently, I need a light replacement kit. Don't I have one of those? That's a no. I do not. So, a light replacement kit. Alright, here you go. Fix cork, I guess. I didn't know that that could be a thing. I didn't even realize it was even a problem. Okay. Car. Is another one. Uh... Frick if I know. Is off ground, is on an incline, moves backwards, brakes, moves slow, moves fast. No. No, there's something wrong there. What else is wrong with the car that I don't know? But I know the radio toggles. Uh, where is it? When, let's see. Trunk, wiper, steering wheel, headlights. Something wrong with the wipers, apparently. When car. Inverts direction, I think, is what I want. No. That doesn't make any sense. That's literally what it does. Or is it when car... Crashes, moves... No, no, no. no. Switches, moves uphill... Moves backwards. Whoops. Radio. Toggles. Gotcha. How do I fix it? Uh, ceiling kit? Why would that need a ceiling kit? I mean, I got it, but still. Fix court. I can't imagine there's something else wrong with the car. That has to do with the wipers of all things. I mean, I guess I could test run it. So, something's wrong with the wipers. They don't seem to be doing anything. Oh? Okay, so there's the quirk. I, I just found it. Okay, so. Uh. What 
when the car moves forward, the wipers move faster. That's an odd quirk. Man, I've been riding around with nothing this whole time, and then suddenly they hit me with, like, three of them. So, when car... moves... I guess fast? It's more like when the car just moves forward, but when mo car moves fast... Wipers... move fast. Ah, I knew it. We got three out of four, so it's... Something with the car. Crashes, switches on, switches off, warps, receive anchor, moves slow, brakes, moves backwards. This off ground is kicked, it's on an incline. I mean, it's none of those. Maybe it's moves slow. No. Oh. So if I move slow, it goes fast. But then if I start going faster, it doesn't. That still makes no sense. Mechanics hit. That's electricians. I need a mechanics. Charge! Uh, mechanics kit. There you go. Such strange stuff. What? But I do have that. Missing. What? What do you mean? Oh, I need two of them. Wow. I mean, it's a good thing I have a lot of stuff for that. Fix. Wow. That's the first time I've needed two of those things. Alright. So, uh... Can you stop doing the dumb things? Stop being quirky. So I need another pry bar. I would like to try out the thermal vac. The crude flashlight. And I'm probably gonna need another plasma cutter. So, let's dump that in there. Put the vac in there. Keep the... Uh, the flashlight is kind of big. But we'll keep it on us. And I need to throw this away. Thank you for the stuff. There was not enough room for the stuff. There we go. So I'm gonna get that off the, uh, the science slot. Fuel. Uh, at least what was wrong with the car slash fuel was not a uh, something like it drains faster when the car is on. That would have been horrendous if that was the case. I, oh my gosh, that would have been a pain. Still got nothing when it comes to the blistering woods. 
I can go to F1 though. But uh might actually be better to go here even with it kind of uh not being good. So we'll try to go for F2 junction, but I think the F1 junction is where I would prefer to try and find this lead stuff. I really have to look everywhere to find it because it's bothering the heck out of me that I don't know where it is. And I only need like 10 of it. That really agitates me. So, uh, we're at least gonna do a quick jump into the zone just to see what it's got. But also, apparently, using that thing to find the quartz was, uh, not really a good thing. I mean, granted, it does give me... Uh... Gives my stability things, whatever you want to call them, the anchors... A useful purpose. But, uh, It still costs a lot. Winter weapons. Okay. Headlights. Because it's raining. I'm just cutting through this area. I don't think there's really anything to find. There's fuel, but we only just started. We don't need it. Car. Almost hit 80 miles an hour in this thing now. Whoop. Oh, I thought I was actually going to hit that rock. Ow. Sorry, San. Nice slide. Oh, there's a truck up there. It's got an armored door that I can scrap. But I mostly want to see what's inside the back. A lot of good stuff. It's mine now. Uh, I don't really need the armor. Or I should say, I don't really need to break that. Okay. Trash can. Nothing else? Alright, we're out here. a good stop. Is that another truck up there? No, it's just rocks. Frick you, rock. Okay. Oh. 
Underground mischief. Open. Oh, it just went away, did it? So, underground mischief. There it is. Man, every single time I scroll down, I somehow pass it. Certain burrowing anomalies are even more aggressive in this part of the zone. Okay. So that would basically be the construction crew. Okay. Well, there's a thing over here that I want to grab. So I immediately want to make my way to that. And then, I guess, try and hit up all these anchor points, which I know are all... Uh, unstable anchor points. I just cut through the area. So you just gotta be careful of the construction crew. Whoa! Ha! Oh, maybe they're not unstable. Because that's one of them right now. That looks like a stable variant. to this enigmatic individual, one of three versions is true. Myth, martyr, or monster. To be able to weigh her in turns as heretic, genius, or scapegoat, we must first set the stage. When I started down this path to discover who she was, what she did, and ultimately what happened to her, I didn't expect it to lead me to one of the strangest mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But let me rewind a bit. In Northwest Washington State, there are 3,600 square miles of vibrant wilderness called the Olympic Peninsula. Bounded by water on three sides, it was a wonderland for outdoorsy types, with snow-capped mountains and salmon-bearing rivers and pristine rainforests. Up until 1955, it was the residence of 100,000 people, including Ophelia Turner. It was her birthplace, her hometown, and, it turns out, Ground Zero and Sacrificial Lamb for the promise of limb technology. In true fashion, the government never comes out and says that's what led to the creation of the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But the chain of events were in plain sight. Strange accidents, leading to the government's claim of eminent domain and subsequent seizure of the peninsula. The evacuation of 100,000 people and the attempt and abject failure at containing the rumors that spread like wildfire. Because it turns out, even with the government's resources at your disposal, keeping secrets is a tricky business. You can bet there was plenty of talk as a result. Lucky me, because I had plenty of questions. Oh, so this is what's hiding my, uh, my lead stuff. Oh, it's been that all along, huh? Ow, what? Door? Who the f threw a door at me? It was you, wasn't it? You sack of sh**. Be throwing stuff at me. Okay, 
Okay, well, now that I finally found out where the uh, the lead stuff is, I am gonna go salvage it. I wonder how much it's gonna give. There's a lot of... Who's throwing doors around here? Bruh. Oh, so it's all that? Well, that gave me scrap metal. Maybe this one's too damaged. To give me lead. Ah, no, that gave me some lead. Okay, so it's... I have computer. I can break that for some electronic components. So this is the thing that I have to look for, huh? These little panel things. Oh yeah, my gosh. And they only give me like one to two. That's not ideal. But at least I found it. I know what I'm looking for now. I don't think I passed any while coming down here, so I don't need to backtrack. Something over there. Got foggy all of a sudden. Oh, is that another one? Aha! There's another one. With two computers and a receiver? Okay, that one gave me four. Whoop. Sorry, construction crew. I didn't mean to get in your way. Oh, frick, that one only gave me one. And that one was one of the good panels. Oh, that one gave me like five. My gosh. Come on. Fantastic. Well, it's good to know now what I'm looking for exactly. Because I was definitely struggling. Oh, there's another one. They're all over the place. This makes me think I actually missed one of them while driving down here. was a lot. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I need to go backtrack now. Because, uh, when you find one, apparently you find five of them. Which means there were definitely more somewhere around here. Break that. Chemicals, thank you. Electrical 
opponent, no. Huh. Okay, so. And we got that out of the way. How many of those did we get? We got 20. Oh, 29. Hmm. Fairly decent. construction crew okay we started over there and then we just kind of did a straight cut through here so eh, I guess that's fine we're gonna make our way down this way let's go Bother checking the building. So I just need to find those lights beaming off in the distance to find the uh, little panel that has all those. Let place. No, 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 no. Ow. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a truck up there. I'd like to access the truck without having my car be accessed by the, uh, whoop, the abductor. Whoop. He got mad about something and just booked it. Like, no, I'm out of here. I don't really want the crude door. Steel panel, green. And a mechanics kit. I mean, I do kind of need the mechanics kit. Oh. Got a ton of stuff. I didn't mean to put my crowbar in there. Got a lot of blue. What's this thing got? That's some pretty decent stuff. burnt orange paint wouldn't that just be brown it sounds like brown to me got the little specky puddles I don't want to deal with them hmm Something wrong with something wrong with my door. Ow! Apparently, I broke the window. I don't know how I broke it, but I broke it. Ooh, another truck! My gosh, there's so many good things around here. All of that, please. What's that? Battery jumper. Oh. I mean, that's kind of good. That's not good. That's a problem. How much fuel do you have? A little bit. How much fuel do I have? I'm good. I still got backup fuel. 
Okay, well, uh, we gotta go then. Can I squeeze through here? Uh, ah, there we go. Squeeze through. I'm gonna go grab the anchor that's over here. Mine, you can't have it. There you go. Finders keepers. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, frick. Well, that wasn't necessary of you. Oh, there's a thing over there. I'm going for it. Full speed. Oh, I don't have the scrapper. I kind of need it. Warping. What? No, I didn't. I don't know how I activated the warping function. Knock your nonsense off. Stop. Uh, I only got one lead thing out of that. I mean, we did find quite a few of these. Is there any more off in the distance? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh oh. You got anything in here for me? Ow. Other than rocks? I don't really want rocks. Rocks are the devil. Are you still trying to... Boy, get out of here. Stop. hit up that anchor. I'll do a quick look around just to see if there might be anything else in terms of uh, lead platellet. And go down this road. Face the storm. There is an anchor over here. But the anchor is not something that I need to worry about. Ow! Who hit me? Frick you, Taurus! Alright. Well. I'll grab this, since I'm already here. Man of Destruction. Ow! Frack. Sorry, construction crew. Also, I'm surprised that you didn't pop my tires. All things considered. Oh, 
Oh. Basically out of gas. Well, that's why we got the extra tank. Ow! Hey, no! Yeah, no, you're not gonna get me, dumb. Ooh. A corrupted core. I'm absolutely gonna go try and go for that. Might as well. Yeah, let's not go for the, uh, the electrical distortion, though. That, that's a problem. That's a lot of problems. Yeah, frick you, electricity. Come on. Go away. Bruh, seriously, go away. Thank you. Huh. Ha. What? Uh, I had to take a hit there. That's fine, though. Corrupted core. Frick you. Where's the core? Is it this thing? Payload? There's a lot of stuff there, but I don't think that's the corrupted core that I was looking for. Oh, it was. What? I have no idea what that was. It was a bumper of some sort. It was just a steel bumper. Oh, so it was just a random payload injection? I mean, I guess. I was hoping it would be a corrupted core. What are you pricks doing here? Get out of here. Bunch of douchebags. Brought me all the way here for nothing. Hey there, folks. It's Zap, and it's time for the next segment in the knowledge feedback. Today, we're keeping it in the Coniferous family. We're going to be talking about the beautiful and proud Redwood. Now, as many of my listeners know, these incredible trees are absolutely massive. What you may not know, however, is that in fact they are the largest tree in the world. Besides being big, they are also as old as the hills themselves. I've been lived for thousands of years, and as a species, they date almost all the way back to the dinosaurs. Incredible. Now, their bark has a very low amount of resin when compared to other similar trees, which helps look at slightly fire resistant. Here in the zone, I certainly wouldn't mind that advantage for myself. And we don't have any here on the peninsula, but given how weird it can get out there, I wouldn't be surprised in the least if one shot out of the ground between my feet while I was out on my next hike. Anyway, that's all for today. As always, stay safe out there, keep your eyes on the trail, and leave the forest as you found it. Right. Anyways. Man, my car is taking a beating. That's okay though. Woo! Ah! Anyways. Uh, we found a lot of the, uh, 
Those lead platelets that I was looking for. I even slammed right into one of them as we were leaving. Well, I'm pretty sure I cleared out that area, so we're good. Oh my gosh, we did so much damage though. Oh, that was quite the ride. Enjoy yourself out there? Kind of. Sorta. Of, maybe. I don't know. Who can tell? Alright, well. Uh, yikes. That's all I have to say to that. You got anything for me, dumpster? Chemicals. I mean, I can use that for... What do you call it? More canned food. First aid kit. Repair putty, thank you. I mean, I can use the chemicals for the repair putty. Thank you. <laughs> I really needed all that. For once, the uh, the dumpster was actually nice. Nothing in the squire car. It's just a armor panel and a door that I can break. All right. Close that. Let's read whatever this is. NN News Flash. Seattle, January 29th, 1968. Ah, it's not the funny number. You screwed it up. Get out of here. Your year sucks. Today sees the opening of a landmark class action lawsuit by government employees who allege that the state of Washington knowingly sent them to perform what they are describing as, quote, profoundly dangerous and extremely unhealthy, end quote, duties. That have resulted in long-term illness. <laughs> Poop. All right. Ah. Dangerous poop, you say? I mean, basically everybody has that, but you don't need to announce it. It's kind of just a a known general fact. It's common knowledge, common sense. But, okay. Power! I don't think I really need to give my car power, honestly. I need to fix all of its armor paneling. Because, uh... It's all basically broken now. And that's, uh, sad. I don't think I can do anything with the, uh... The doors, though. Those I'll just have to throw putty at. Kind of sucks. Let's see if I can make that lead apron. Here we go. Costs 15 to make it. Thank you. I will take that. Lead lined lab coat. And then actual radiation suit. And I'm gonna go with that. I can't make the uh, the radiation suit because, unfortunately, uh, that requires Olympium fragments, and I have no idea where to get that. So is that just on my person, or? Uh, I don't know if that's like on my person automatically or because I know the backpack thing does that Acid raincoat hmm. um, Is it something that I might need to make? Where do we have car accessories? No.
Yeah, I have no idea if that's just like automatically on me or if uh I need to actually equip it. Joy safer landings. I mean, I do kind of need that. Acidic Rainco, I probably would need that. So that way I can keep myself from having acid rain on me. Whenever that might happen. I'm gonna do that. Just for a little bit of extra protection on there. Oh, frick, I made the grounded sweater. I mean, that does protect me against electricity, but that's not what I was going for. I guess the power boots. What's this? Certainly better than nothing, so will provide you with a... modicum? Or modicum of protection? You could have just said medium, but okay. Against the knocks and bumps, the zone inflicts. I mean... Do I take damage from getting hit? I know I take damage from my door smacking me in the face. Yeah, I feel like all that's just automatically on me. So, I don't have to do anything about that. That's cool. But I mean, hey, I got radiation resistance. That's basically all I needed or wanted. So, at that point, I'm going to need to end the session here because it's not really anything else I can do other than uh, fix up the car, obviously. Let's put all that away. Yeah, there's a lot. That needs to be done. Ah, putty. Yeah. We need to fix the car up quite a bit. So, that being said, that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. We'll see you in the next session. That door is fragile! No! I think that happens whenever I just do too much damage to it. That's, uh... A little unfortunate. But it's just something that happens. So, oh well. I guess I could make another door. I do have the ability to do that. Yeah, I might as well just go ahead and... So I need to make two doors and a panel. Yeah, we'll do that.